Hello, Hello everyone. We, we are unstoppable. Our topic is good health and well-being. We are going to talk about what's the difference between Taiwan, USA, and Japan's medical domain, and what we can learn from them. Hi, I'm Colin. Nice to meet you. Hey, I'm Yimen. Whatever. Hi, I'm Terry. It's glad to be here. This is our content. First is, is the comparison of medical insurance. Next, we are going to talk about pension system. And we will end up with what can we learn from these two systems. The first part is comparison of medical insurance. And now we are going to talk about Taiwan's medical insurance advantages. In Taiwan, almost all citizens are covered by our health insurance, so it is universal popularization. Also, through the health insurance, you can spend less money but get high quality services. What's more, if you reach the certain conditions, there will be subsidies for your medical costs. Now I'm going to tell you some disadvantages for Taiwan's pension system. We think it is nonsense that everyone has to pay for their health insurance whether we need it or not, and that costs a lot of extra money. In fact, most of extra money are wasted by medical resources. And after looking at Taiwan's pension system, let's look at USA's. Their advantage is it's almost called <laughs> covers all kinds of preventive care and prescription drugs. Also, that makes their disadvantages. That is, it's really expensive for people and it's complicated. Look, there are four types of Medicare plans. The next part is comparison of pension systems. Now let's look at Taiwan's pension system's advantages. In Taiwan, once you reach a certain age, the government will financially support you by giving allowances for your daily spends or other needs like dentures, reading glasses, and transportation allowance insurance. During special holidays, we'll also have financial gifts for the elderly. Although there are lots of benefits, some disadvantages like insufficient budget, lack of human resources, and service plan not comprehensive enough are the problems depends on government to work on. Now I'm going to introduce some of Japan's pension system. As we know, many citizens in Japan are old, but they are healthy. Maybe you might think, why is that? That's because their citizens over 40 years old can get free health check, and citizens over 70 years old can get some medical services for free. Also, their government provides employment opportunities for elderly, so they can work until they are old and don't have to worry about they don't have money to use. And also, there are some disadvantages they need to improve. Like, because there are old people in Japan are uh, maybe don't have kids and they're healthy, so that makes their society old aging, and it's really complicated for people to take care of them. Also, because their government provides employment opportunities for the elderly, so the elderly in Japan have to work until they're old. The last part is, what can we learn from two systems? After I pay for the Medicare, I got nothing but an empty wallet left. Why can't we just be like Taiwan, make it easy and simple? Yeah, I totally agree. But since I left Taiwan for so long, why do I still need to pay for the insurance that will, I will never get to use? It is unbelievable I have to pay for other strangers' health check fee. And I think it is too tired for elderly that they have to work until they are old. Look at Taiwan, they have so many allowances for elderly, and they have money to use and they don't have to work. Also, please make their 
care contact more simple for people to understand. But less and less young people want to take care of elderly. Maybe we can just ask, give more benefit to them. After solve this problem, we can just provide more services to them, and make elderly and have a happier life. This, This is the end, end of our presentation. presentation. Thank, Thank you. you.